Good morning. I have got a story for you. For real, this happened. Now, there was a family, and they lived in Mexico, and they had nine children. Actually, that wasn't all they had, but at this point, they only had nine. And they got up one morning, and Papa had to make a delivery in his old truck. And he had an old clunker truck, like this. And it went pop, boom, bang. It backfired, and it rattled. And some of the window, the one window on the passenger side didn't roll down, and the one on the driver's side didn't roll up. <sighs> and so they were eating breakfast, and he told Mama, he said, I have a delivery today. I'm going to make a little money. And she said, well, I have a very busy day. So you're going to have to take the four boys with you. Yeesh. And that was Jesus, Francisco, my husband, and Carlos, and then the baby brother, Oscar. He was only two. He was small, like this little gal. Very small. And uh, they had to go with their dad in the truck, and they had to ride the bumpy roads and hit the rocks, and they thought it was kind of fun, and listen to it backfire and pop, boom, bang. And uh, it was kind of like riding a horse or something, you know? And they made the delivery, and it took them most of the day, like two hours to go and two hours to come back. And on the way back, Papa decided to stop and visit a friend. And that was fine. The boys played in the backyard. But it was getting later and later in the day. And finally, Papa said, it's time for us to go. And they were ready to go in the car. Now, little Oscar, he always carried a little um, matchbox car. It's actually a truck, a little red truck. He went to sleep with that truck. He never put that truck down. And so he had his truck, and they got in the car, and they headed home. And the one thing, the town before their town, they had to cross a creek. The road, the road, the creek went right through the road. But what Papa didn't know while he was visiting, up in the mountains, it had been raining. Mm-hmm. And you know, when rain comes up here, it goes downhill. And so when they went to cross the creek to get home, the creek is normally about, oh, up to here. You could wade through it. And he would just drive through it. But now the creek was up to the knees. So he had to be very careful not to get water on the engine because if he did, the engine could die. You know, just quit working. So anyway, he went through slowly, but he got in the middle of the creek, and what do you think happened? It went cup, yeah. <laughs> and the water was up to the top of the tires. And inside was Jesus, Francisco, Carlos, and Oscar. He was playing on the floor with his truck. He didn't care what happened. He wasn't interested. So their dad got out, and he tried to get the truck running. He put the hood up, and, and the water was rising. So finally, he decided, you know, this isn't safe. It was starting to move the truck. So he um, called the boys, one by one, to the driver's window. And he said, you know, come on, Jesus, Francisco, Carlos, they all got out. But when he went back to get Oscar, Oscar didn't listen. He was too busy. <laughs> with his car. And it's Oscar, Oscar. And about that time, a big bush of water came and hit the driver door, and it moved the truck down the creek. And Papa jumped off, and he watched. 
and more water was coming. And the, the truck began to float down the creek, and then it started to roll. And Oscar was still inside. So Papa ran, he tried to, to get him out, couldn't, and some other cars came to cross the river and saw what was going on, and the men got out and started helping. And one man went back to the town and got told all the other men in the little Pueblo to come and help. So they searched till dark, and they couldn't find Oscar. They didn't find him anywhere. And the truck had rolled and washed away and, and nothing. So they said, well, it's dark. The only thing we can do is come back in the morning as soon as it's daylight. And so they came back in the morning, and you know what they found? They found Oscar's little red truck on the sand. And Papa was upset because he knew Oscar never let go of that truck. And he kind of thought, uh-oh, I don't think Oscar made it. And um, anyway, the men kept looking, and they looked all day, and they didn't find him. But one man hunted in the area. He hunted all the time for their, some of their food, you know, and uh, fished and everything. And um, he looked where they found the truck. And in the back of his mind, something told him, remember here a while back, you saw some animal tracks down here at the water, right in this area. So that animal usually would come to the same place to drink. So he said to the other men, well, I'm going to go up this trail a ways and just look around. And he went up the trail way up the trail, maybe two miles, a mile and a half. It was a long way. And he got up there, and you know what he had seen there a few weeks before? You guys know what a puma is? Puma is a mountain lion or a cougar. They're a cat, and they were probably about 130, 140 pounds. And um, he had been hunting, and he'd seen a, a mountain lion, and she had babies. And he knew where the den was. So he went, hiked up in there, and he watched to make sure she wasn't around. Because you know what? Mother animals are real protective. So you don't want to go near her babies, because she's going to be upset. So he watched, and she wasn't around. And he went, and he moved the bushes, and he looked back in where she had her den. And guess who was sitting there with three baby bo uh, uh, cougars? Who do you think was sitting there? Oscar was sitting there. And you know, he was playing with those cougars. He was just playing. And the man called him out, Oscar. Oscar, come out, you know. Come on, your papa's looking for you. Oscar came out, and his arms were all scratched up where he'd been playing with those kitties. And uh, the man hiked down the hillside with him. And anyway, Oscar, the only thing he had, he had a scar on the back of his neck where that cat had picked him up and taken him up to her den. Now, why do you suppose, you know, why do you think that cat maybe didn't eat him? She'd probably gone down there to get a drink, and he was laying there, maybe half drowned, and uh, she went over probably and smelled him and thought, well, this just isn't right. You know, she knew somehow that he was a baby. So she took him home to her babies. She kind of adopted him, and she saved his life. So what do you think the lesson is here that you would learn? One thing would be listen to your parents. Because sometimes when it's dangerous, you have to listen 
and do what they say, because what do they want to do? They want to protect you. And the other thing is respect animals, because they're not stupid. God instills things in animals. Um, if we respect them, then they respect us. So let's go back to our seats. Thank you for being so quiet.